Judy Sill has been coming up a lot during this project. Um, yeah. Everybody says like, oh, you need to check that out. And I tried I, and it's, it's, it's very difficult music for me to get into. Yeah. Oh, when I first heard it, I was like, ah! <laughs> 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 you know, like... Breath touching me like a wind song. It's a, uh, there's, there's something about her voice that I am really turned off by at a first listen. And, you know, it, there's not something so immediate to grab onto, you know, to, that will keep replaying in your head. But I think ultimately that's what drew me in. I spent a lot of time listening to it when I was living in Berlin years and years ago when I was uh, playing with Efterklang. Mm -hmm. And um, I would just walk around Berlin and have it in my headphones and it just, it was like an earworm eventually. It just really got in there and uh, I, I really appreciate her music compositionally because it's very strange and, uh, and pretty advanced, like her piano playing and... She only has two. She only has two records, right? I believe so. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some more that start. She's having a bit of a resurgence, you know. She's people are finally figuring her out. So I wouldn't be surprised if some B sides record comes out eventually. But okay. Yeah, she's just peculiar, you know. I think nothing about her is pop culture, you know. Mm -hmm. Her music's too complicated. She's. She's a, she's a strange character herself. You know, it's it's funny because even to this day, even though I've you know known Judy Sill's music for years and years now, I she's still not the kind of musician that I would like just put on all the time if if I had friends over for dinner or something. Because it makes me tense when I listen to it. Because I'm I'm like, I remember how I felt when I first listened to it. Sometimes, you know, music can like really, if, if music is unpleasant to someone, it can really be a distraction and sort of yeah. annoying, you know? So, uh, so it, she's not someone that I would just put on for anyone, but I, I know that I have a, a, a handful of friends that, that really love that sort of thing. Have you watched any of her performances online? Yeah. No. You should check a couple of those out because I think that's part of what sort of drew me in is just sort of watching her perform, almost like watching Nina Simone perform in a way. Like she's very interesting looking and and a bit tortured or something, you know, but so incredibly talented. She was also a very Christian musician, right? I, um, what I read was that she was in some sort of Christian-based like cult, mm -hmm. and but she also, you know, she died of a heroin overdose. So, okay. it, 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 she's yeah. yeah old, old <laughs> she kind of looks like she kind of looks like a librarian. 